I'm Samuel, I'm from Grand Prairie, Alberta, and I'm very grateful to be a part of the Canadian country music world. Um, I've been writing since I picked up a guitar at, at 14. My grandparents bought me my first one, and uh, I've just loved being able to explore that and see it as a vision for cool things in the future. Um, music has always been a part of my life. I was asking for singing lessons at like five years old and playing at weddings and local festivals and any place I could possibly stand on a stage and sing. And, uh, and that's, that's where I got my start. I sang the national anthem at the local hockey games for many years and loved that. And um, definitely the writing thing kind of took it to a new place, which was really fun. When I was, I was 14 and I attended my first Canadian Country Music Week and it was like a huge moment of realizing that this could really be something. Like I could really take this vision and this dream and, and make it something. And you know, learning all about the seminars and the showcases and just taking in the live music scene there and being able to network with people in the industry was, was really huge for me and, and uh, that was just awesome to be able to surround myself in that environment and be inspired there so I feel like that was a really big start for me and and you know sent out a few singles to radio after that and started to make some albums and, and write more and connect with more people it was just an amazing experience. Yeah, I'm in the creative process right now. I'm so grateful to be here in Nashville. I love this place and uh, I'm writing. I'm in the creative zone, just making some new music and getting excited to hopefully be back in the studio in May to be releasing some things by the end of this year. So it's, it's an exciting transition time. It's been uh, a lot of fun being here. Big Hearts for Big Kids is a concert fundraiser that I started, um, I guess, five years ago in uh, my hometown of Grand Prairie, Alberta. And my goal was to be able to raise some awareness and some funds for the local youth shelter that I was hearing about. Um, I heard how low on funds they were and how close they were to closing their doors and I really wanted to do something about it. And music is my outlet to be able to reach out to people. And um, I went door to door with sponsor packages and, and got together a group of friends to help put on a, a concert, a benefit concert for them. And um, five years ago, on the night of our first event, the youth shelter had to close its doors due to lack of funding. And that night, we were able to raise $30,000 and a lot of awareness and community spirit. Um, we got the government involved with some more funding. and and we were able to take that event and grow it and um, every year we've been able to help and improve the, the shelter and we've seen them renovate and fully restaff and reopen their doors and uh, we're continuing to be able to support them with operational funds and starting new programs for family support. It's been amazing. So it's in the past five years we've been able to raise over $550,000 which has been so life changing to be a part of. I'm so inspired by the community that believes in it so much and it's crazy to think that next door in a you know northern Alberta town there are so many kids who need that who turn to that on a regular basis and um, music has just been such a gift to be able to help that and uh, help them so Big Hearts for Big Kids is something very near and dear to my heart. I have felt uh, so grateful to have grown up in a home that believes in the power of giving back and that's always been such a huge part of our life. Um, I feel so blessed and so grateful to have found what I love to do with all my heart and to be able to you know, live out that dream and that passion every day. Um, music is, is a huge passion for me, but more than that it's an outlet that allows me to reach people. I feel like music is such a 
cool way of communication and making us feel like we're never alone in what we're going through and it unites us and I love that I'm so grateful for the power that it has so um, that's just a really big part of my life is the way that music moves people and inspires change and you know especially with the the future generations you know they're doing such amazing things already and it's so ex exciting to be able to be on that journey with them if if music can be a part of that I'm I'm very excited and grateful Yeah, the Play It Forward tour was a phenomenal experience. Um, this was a vision to be able to go out to schools and reach out to kids and inspire them to take initiative and to find their own potential, find their own passion, what they love to do, and take that and make a difference with it. So essentially, we're getting these kids to just go out into the world and play and then take that and, and play it forward. So it was really neat seeing the kindness spread and you know hearing incredible stories of what these kids are doing already it's so inspiring so every school we go to we play music and we'd speak and we dance and have lots of fun and uh, we'd get to surprise and award three students that the teachers and staff had already decided on as kids who made those hallways a better place to be and they'd get surprised and get to come up in the presentation um, and be awarded with $75 that they got to play forward to their school however they chose. And at the end of the tour, we went 32 weeks on the road with over 106 um, schools. We met, you know, over 300 leaders and we put all those names into a draw um, from coast to coast, BC to PEI and up to the territories as well, which was so amazing and we um, picked out a $10,000 winner, and that student got to uh, play forward $5,000 to a charity of choice that she was really passionate about, it, and $5,000 towards her school to keep the play forward spirit going. So it was um, a remarkable experience getting to be with those kids every day, being able to play music, and you know, to do what I'm passionate about, and, and be inspired by kids who are doing the same, you know, it was, it was amazing.